Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how you can downgrade the firmware on your iPhone 4S or your iPad 2. So whether you accidentally updated, you got a new device that came with new firmware, or for whatever reason you had to restore, this is a simple tutorial to get you back from 5.1 or 5.1.1 down to iOS 5.0.1, where of course you can get the untethered jailbreak. It's very easy to downgrade your firmware, however you do need one very important thing, your iOS 5.0.1 SHSH blobs. Now you may already have this if you were jailbroken previously on 5.0.1, Cydia ought to have saved it for you, or if you previously plugged your iPhone 4S or iPad 2 into something like Tiny Umbrella and saved it that way. As long as you have your 5.0.1 SHSH blobs, it's going to be very simple. You're going to need a couple of firmwares to downgrade. So first of all, you're going to need the 5.0.1 IPSW for your device, and you're also going to need 5.1.1. So you may already have these on your computer. In that case, I will have a link in the description. If you have it, you can just simply move it out to your desktop and you're going to be good to go. However, if you need to download anything, there also will be a link where you can download whichever firmware you need. Uh, beyond that, all we're going to need to do is go ahead and download the latest build of Red Snow. Also, of course, I will have a link to that as well in the description. At this point, we're going to put our device into DFU mode. Now, before you do this, make 110% sure that you have your data backed up, as we will be restoring and going back. So if you have an iCloud backup, make sure that it is fully up to date. If you back up your data through iTunes, be sure that you have recently done it or just go ahead and do it right now. Uh, beyond that, of course, go ahead and plug your device in via USB to your Mac or PC. And let's go ahead and begin. So to put your device into DFU mode, all you need to do is go ahead and hold the power button for just a couple seconds until you get the slide to power off. So there we go. Go ahead and slide to power it off. Once your device is off, go ahead and hold the power button for three seconds. So one, two, three. Now hold the power and home for 10 seconds. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release the power button and continue holding the home button for about 15 seconds or so. Once you've successfully entered DFU mode, you should see on Redstone, it should say iPhone 4S or iPad 2, and it should say DFU mode. If you had any problems, feel free to go ahead and just hold the home and power button for a second. It will turn back on and you can do the exact same thing again. Now come over to extras, even more, and then restore. Uh, now we need to select our IPSW, so hit on the button here and select your iOS 5.0.1 IPSW. Uh, now it'll ask you for another one, and at this point, grab your 5.1.1 IPSW. And hopefully that's about as confusing as it is for you as it is for me. That made no sense. We're going to continue on. Uh, so now it's going to give us a little uh, information about our baseband. Uh, if you have an unlock and you don't want to update your baseband, definitely go ahead and not do this tutorial. But if you're not interested in unlocking your iPhone 4S, feel free to continue. Now you're going to have two options for selecting your SHSH blobs. So the first is local. So if you use something like Tiny Umbrella and you have them on your computer, go ahead and hit local and select the blobs themselves. Otherwise, if you have it backed up through Cydia, which I bet is probably the case for 99% of people, click on remote. Now give it a few minutes to fetch the blobs from the server. After a moment, your device should come back to life and you will see something like this. Now if you come over to Red Snow, you're going to see all kinds of different things running across the screen, but you really don't have to worry about it. Just give it a little bit of time and it will restore to 5.1 and then it will go back to 5.0.1. So this may take a little while, but just be patient and I will be back as soon as it's all done. So at this point, your device should be fully restored. So all you need to do is go ahead and set up the language, all the kind of normal stuff that you do. And of course, be sure to restore it from your backup. So of course, whether it's iCloud or via iTunes, just be sure to get all your data back onto your iPhone. Now that you're on iOS 5.0.1, you can now jailbreak using AppSense. So if you need a tutorial, feel free to hit up the link on screen right now, and I'll also have it in the description, and you can get yourself fully jailbroken on iOS 5.0.1. If you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up, and if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.